Welcome back to a Veterans Day edition of Leading Edge. I've been chatting with World War II Medal of Honor recipient Woody Williams, a son of West Virginia. Woody was originally turned down by the Marines for being too short. Over time, that restriction was eased. Woody signed up and became a war hero in the Pacific Theater's Battle of Iwo Jima. I had to ask him something that has long struck me about the United States in fighting wars. You know, I think about World War I and then World War II. We, we, use, in, 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 we beat the Nazis over in Europe and you guys took care of Japan and the Pacific. We used to win wars and we don't do that much anymore. I, I mean, know. we kind of, we, we have a, they have a truce in Korea and Vietnam, which we, we, we didn't win that one. Uh, all the way up to Afghanistan. We're, 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 why don't we fight to win anymore, Woody? I do not understand it. I really do not. We don't go to win anymore. We're uh, kind of a police force, if you will. That's what we're acting like, mm -hmm. trying to supervise their way of living. Mm -hmm. And we're not gaining anything. Mm -hmm. At least as far as I can see, we're not. We're losing people, but we're really not making any progress and changing the whole culture of a country. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? I, I don't know. I'm not smart enough to figure that out. But you would agree, and I can't ask you to speak for all veterans from World War II, uh, and we're losing too many of them too, but would most veterans in your opinion say, don't even go to war unless you intend to win the war? I think you could get a 99% vote on that one. You enlisted. In my generation, many who served were drafted to do so. Today, we're back to professional armed yes. forces. Yes. In your opinion, how do we stack up today to the military that won on two fronts in World War II? I don't think there's a great deal of difference. Okay. I, the, the big difference is the way we are fighting wars, in my opinion, in countries that we shouldn't even be in, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. But the rules of engagement today, if we had had the same kind of rules of engagement in World War II that we are having to fight and put our people under today, we would have lost World War II, in my opinion. When you go to war, you've got to go to war to win. And there's going to be, you hate to say it, there are going to be, there's going to be collateral damage. Absolutely. Yep, and, and, and innocent women and children are going to die, and nobody wants that to happen. That's exactly right. Yeah. But as long as you're fighting within a populated area, yeah. you can't... You can't avoid that. You can't, that's right. Not if you're going to win. That's right. Do you follow current military events? Pretty much so. Right. Yes, sir. All right, here's stuff that's going on today. Pulling American troops out of Syria, exposing our anti-ISIS allies, the Kurds, to a military offensive from Turkey. In a case like that, there are arguments back and forth on all sides. I'm not passing judgment. But how much do we need to be concerned about our reputation as trusted allies? Well, I think the circumstances had a great deal to do with the decision that was made. Yeah. Had, the, had the Turks absolutely decided we are going to go to war mm -hmm. with the limited number of Americans we had there, we couldn't have stopped them if we wanted no. to. All we would have done is lose America. Yeah. So if that was their determination, then the, to me, the smart thing was to do is to get our Americans out of the way. Yeah, and we did that. So, All right. A year ago, last February, you were selected to do the official coin toss for the Super Bowl. What the heck was that like? Oh, <laughs> a thrill that this old country boy never dreamed would ever that come just, by. Just amazing. <laughs> but, you know, as proud as I am of having that opportunity, the thing that makes me most proud yeah is there were 14 Medal of Honor recipients out there on the field with you. That's right. And it was those 13 individuals who took a vote and said, we ought to let Woody Williams do this. Oh, I they think. chose you? Yeah. Beautiful. I, I, think it was, I think it was because they said, he's getting old. He's not going to live very long. We better give him a last <laughs> chance. <laughs> Throw him a bone here late in life. <laughs> yeah. So many things now named after you. A VA medical center, a National Guard armory, a bridge in West Virginia, athletic fields bear your name. What's it make you feel? Extremely proud and very, very humble. Mm. I, I just wish that my mother and my father had lived long enough to see what has happened to one of their children. 
because it couldn't happen anywhere else but in America. Maybe they, had, maybe they did see. Maybe I hope they are looking maybe, down. Maybe there's a way. I hope so. Finally, what message do you have for our viewers and for the veterans that we have out there watching? Well, we must not ever, ever forget Veterans Day because we are here because of the sacrifice of others. And that's been true since America became a nation. Mm -hmm. And we wouldn't have what we have, we wouldn't be who we are, unless these individuals, as we're having them today, voluntarily take an oath to protect us, protect our country, protect our freedom, and if necessary, if required, to die for the most precious country and privileges that exist in this world. Applause is allowed in the studio. <laughs> wow. Somebody out there, you know I can't ask a woman, but you're, you're, a, you're a guy, and somebody out there is going to wonder, wonder how old Mr. Williams is. Are you answering that question? Oh, absolutely. Uh, last year I had a theme. Okay. I developed a theme last year. I okay. thought, well, I've got to have a theme. You know, okay. Theme's good. My, the, my foundation it, it is the cause is greater than I. That's why I'm doing okay. this. Got it. The cause is greater than I. It's not about me. It's about the Gold Star families. Which is what you guys are you're in town to do. In Perrysburg yeah. are going to have, what, a stand? Right. A, a Groundbreaking, monument. 10 o'clock tomorrow. Well, it's coming up. Okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll take care of all that. But you're in town because the Gold Star is, is honoring families who've lost people. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <clears throat> so that's what keeps you going. Uh, that you that does keep me going. Are you going to answer my question? <laughs> okay, repeat your question. Well, if you, I want, you can I'll, round it off if you are. I just wondered, I think viewers want to know how old you are. I had a theme last year <laughs> that I said, it's good to be alive at 95. That was last year. That was last year. Sir, I can do that math. So then October the 2nd, I passed over one more year. So yeah. now I've got to have another one. I got it. For 96. So I'm going to get my kicks in 96. Just amazing, isn't it? It is an honor to meet you. Thank, Thank you, very you for much. your service to this country, young Thank man. Thank you for having it's me. It's a pleasure. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.